Good morning, it's Tuesday the 8th of January. It's the first week back, full week back uh, after Christmas with all the schools back in. Uh, I'm just doing the nursery run uh, and I'm going to document my journey into Manchester today. So we've been going two minutes and I'll just flip the camera around. And we're stuck in traffic already. So this is the start of my journey. I'll be back shortly. Okay, quick update. Uh, just dropped the kids off at nursery. Uh, left the house at 10 to eight. It is now just gone half past. So some unexpected roadworks. I've added about 25 minutes onto my journey already, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, so now I'm gonna hit the school traffic, I think. Um, but we'll see how we get on. The sat nav is telling me I should arrive in Spinning Fields at 9.23. Uh, one of the biggest issues we have using the trains between Manchester and Liverpool is that they're actually running. Um, a lot of the trains, especially the Trans-Pennine ones, come from Newcastle or Scarborough. Way. They're often delayed coming through the Pennines. Um, Northern have got the lowest uh, punctuality rating of all train operators, I believe. Uh, so it, the mix of it makes it quite difficult. So each morning I have to check that actually the trains are going to run on time before I go to the station. We're just approaching uh, the turn off for the M62, just a mile off. The BGs are on, the sun's shining, the traffic's still shite. So two out of three ain't bad. Uh, we're still saying 9.23 arrival time. So the second issue we have with travelling by train um, into Liverpool or Manchester is from commuter stations such as Newton the Willows. Um, the station facilities aren't the best, so there's car parking space for about 30, maybe 40 cars. That will be expanded to about 100 when the renovation is completed, but it still means most people end up parking on roads. This obviously annoys local residents, but it also means it's about a five to 10 minute walk from the station, uh, to the station, sorry, from where I park, which adds a, not a long time onto the journey. Pros and cons to both. Uh, Josh could potentially be doing some work on the train. If he can get a seat. Uh, chances are his train is gonna be delayed. Ticket prices have just gone up, obviously, because it's the new year. Benefits to the car, you know when you can leave. We've got to be leaving on time. Traffic shite. Car parking prices in Manchester are ridiculous. And obviously, traffic. Um, but you're in the comfort of your own car. You definitely get a seat. Actually, Seriously? It's just hit 55 miles per hour, so it's unreal. What a time to be alive. Been on it for 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I've not seen more than five workers yet. Maybe they're stuck in traffic trying to get to work actually. Okay, so we got on the train, it was actually on time. Uh, about one minute late, a couple of minutes late, uh, which isn't too abnormal. Uh, got our ticket. This costs anywhere between six and eight pounds, depending on which uh, train company you use. There's three which operate on the Manchester to Liverpool line, then the Northern Trans Pennine Express and East Midlands. Um, Trans Pennine Express ones come from Newcastle and Scarborough, which means quite a lot of the time they're delayed, especially through the winter months, uh, when they're trying to get over the Pennines and through Leeds and through the gridlock at everyone's experience at Manchester Victoria. We also have um, a Reba North Western Trail, which come from Chester or from Manchester, um, which are generally a bit more reliable but extremely, extremely busy because they're the quicker option, which is more frequent. And finally, they're in Northern, dreaded Northern, uh, which are simply just stop everywhere. Um, they're very good for commuting between places in between Manchester and Liverpool, but to get one from Manchester directly to Liverpool, you're on trickling your journey time. 9.39 arrival time. First meeting's at 10. 
Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get in uh, one of the car parts at the Andy. And I should be on time for my first meeting. So the quick trains that run in between Manchester and Liverpool can take anything between 35 or 45 minutes to get to new from Newton Willows to Manchester or Liverpool uh, from my commute this morning. Generally the quick trains are between 19 and 22 minutes. Either straight through to Liverpool or straight through to Manchester, quite lucky in that respect. Um, if I was looking at getting on the slower trains, if I've missed this quicker transfer that train, Julian will notice I'm stood up on. Um, you'll find that they actually take more like 35, 45, maybe even 50 minutes as they stop at every junction in between. Yeah, it's not really how you want to be starting your day every day if you get to you a bit to be honest. We'll always look at the positive. Look at that sunshine. And once you get into the city, what a fabulous city it is. I suppose it's one of the negatives that come with being such a success. So I've just spoke to my 10 o'clock meeting. Um, everyone's pretty understanding these days when you advise going to be running slightly late right due to traffic or trains. Everybody is in operation at this station. So we're just making it in on time, which is nice. So in total the journey has taken a 5 minute drive, a 10 minute walk and a 17 minute train. Let's see what floor I have to go to. 13. I'm lucky for some. Yeah, I'm lucky for me. All done. Just waiting for my lift in the car park before I can dash to my meeting. Um, just calculated it. It's actually 24 miles from where I left the nursery to Manchester Spinning Fields. It took an hour and a half. Um, and I've just done a quick calculation on my phone there, so that works out at 16 mile per hour average speed. Surely Josh has gone a bit faster than that. I hope so. God love him.